Our number one priority across our media properties is to grow engagement. We've done a great job in terms of reach. We have number one properties in news, sports, finance, and many of our entertainment properties are number one as well. Uh, we're now really investing on, uh, in various ways where we can really grow engagement. So if you look at our content across the board, about 10% of what we're producing is original content. About 80% of what we're offering to our users is uh, aggregated. And then about 10% of what we're doing is linking off, right? Linking off the third party sites because we're never gonna have it all, right? So going back to the 10% to the in original, if you look across um, all these media properties, we uh, have done a really nice job at building out original content that identifies audience needs. So when we do produce original content, we don't just kind of throw it up against the wall and hope it sticks. It's really about identifying what our audience wants and then kind of catering to that. So if you look at Yahoo Sports Minute, Prime Time and No Time, Daytime and No Time, Yahoo Tech Ticker, these are all programs that we launched knowing that our audience really wanted that type of content in that specific vertical. So, and there's a, current, there's a common theme across those types of programs. It's, uh, it's short form programming and it's basically a recap of what's happened recently. So for example, Yahoo Sports Minute, it's what's happened over the past 12 to 24 hours in the sports industry. Prime time and no time is what's happened on prime time, what happened on prime time last night. Daytime and no time, same thing, what happened on daytime television. So as we look to invest, we'll probably be trying to identify new ways to extend those types of concepts into other verticals and maybe even extend those concepts within the same vertical. So for example, going back to sports and Yahoo Sports Minute, uh, it, it's really only relevant in the morning, right? The content can very quickly become stale throughout the day. So we're looking at maybe offering a new version with kind of a lighter feel later in the day. So keep you up to date on what's happened during the day, but also kind of present like a behind the, behind the scenes type vibe, more of a lifestyle type vibe to that content. So, you know, as we look to invest, original content is important and is a priority uh, for us. Uh, in some verticals, we do a better job with original content than in others. For example, within sports, um, you know, we have a team, if you include our rivals, College Network, we have a team of over 300 writers, editors, um, publishers that produce content um, for Yahoo Sports daily, and we're breaking news daily. If you look at some of our other verticals, we don't have that, that huge network of, of individuals creating content. And I don't think we'll, we'll, we'll really replicate exactly what we have in sports. Um, but we will continue to investigate areas where we can kind of identify a niche area, possibly within finance, within news, within movies, TV, that we think we can really do a good job at differentiating, differentiating on, and then investing in, in bloggers, professional, semi-professional um, writers and editors, so that we can continue to build out our voice and really um, establish a unique um, style, unique personality, for, for these media properties. So the growth is going to happen through uh, internally, by, by, by building. You're not really acquiring producers or licensing more content. You're, the plan is to build things in-house, in or tell us. It's both. It's both. So we, can, we plan on continuing to invest in original content. And there's two components to original content. There's text and then there's video, right? We plan on investing in both. Um, you know, we plan on hiring writers, bloggers, editors on the tech side, and then we plan on um, producing more original programming that, like I said, identifies and responds to audience needs. The key thing on the video side is that uh, the programming has to be a natural extension of what's happening within our verticals, right? So what I mean by that is we're not gonna just throw something up and hope it works because it's a good idea, and we're not gonna just throw something up um, because an advertiser wants it. We're only gonna do something that's going to organically fit into that vertical. And if you think about it, if we did it any other way, it's not going to help us and it's not going to help the advertiser. So a big focus of ours is, is reaching out to the advertiser, advertiser early. And um, instead, of, instead of building off of the typical buyer-seller relationship, really identifying ways that we can partner and collaborate so that the advertiser feels like they're part of something special. They're part of something unique and they can differentiate their brand on Yahoo. So, um, so that's the original side. And to your question on, 
on the content aggregation side, still very important to Yahoo. I mean, that's our DNA, right? This is how Yahoo was founded, by being um, the home on the web where you can start your day and find all of the best content on the web uh, on or off network. We continue and, and have every intention of continuing to invest in content that's created by third parties. So, and that's across all of our verticals. It's still a huge part of what we do, licensing and content. Now, there's two ways to license in content, right? You can license it in on a non-exclusive basis, or you could license, license it in on an exclusive basis. We've done a good job in both. However, we're going to be looking much more towards the exclusive arrangement going forward. Because again, this is what really helps us differentiate and, and build out that voice. But you can build voice and style um, without necessarily creating the content yourself. You can go out and acquire that content. Um, so so both, both are very relevant to us and will continue to be relevant.